What do you think of Germany? First look. First look, it's, uh, I'm impressed. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Yee yeah, boy. Same. So if you could pick any car in here, what would you pick? I'd probably pick up Porsche or that's a convertible BMW right there. Ooh, that's fresh. We're gonna be cruising. No speed limit. This car goes fast. We're gonna test it out. Asphalt. <laughs> Asphalt. My dad's trying to say Asphalt. Asphalt. This is where the journey starts. We are currently in Orange County, California, Southern California, beautiful weather. It's February, 70 degrees, and we're gonna be on our way to Munich, then to London, to see one of the best soccer games that me and my father have ever seen. Let's go. Bye. 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 We're going up here, Connor. We are at Tom Bradley International Airport, Los Angeles, California. You ready for this? Ready. It's gonna be Little good. Roll. Let's go. I am currently in London on a layover flight to Munich and I'm gonna be in Munich filming with Qatar Airlines and Bayern Munich. We're gonna start in Munich, then we're gonna fly to London. I'm gonna film with Qatar Airlines and Bayern Munich in London for the Champion League, Champions League Fußball match between Bayern Munich and Chelsea. It's gonna be crazy. That is why I'm here. I'm with my dad. I'm taking him on a cool little travel adventure with me. So this will be fun. We'll show you everything from behind the scenes. I'm gonna make a video for Qatar that's a little bit more well done. This is just behind the scenes, this is what I lo love filming. And the reason why I picked up my camera right now is when you're traveling around the world, you have to remember that each country or location that you're in has different plugs. Simple as that. US, you got the three prong, all right? This is what like a high powered electronic device like a MacBook will use, but if you're just using a phone, it'll come in two prong like this. Two parallel prongs, okay? And if you're in the EU, places like Germany, which is where we're gonna go, they have two circles like this, all right? Sometimes they'll have three circles, but it's, it, it looks like this. And then if you come to the UK, they are special in their own way where they have three prongs, but two of them are, that's what it looks like. Just look at that. <laughs> you're gonna have to go to these. And the reason why I am making this video is because I was trying to edit a video and my computer died and I only had this, so I had to run down there and I had to buy an adapter, boom. Boom. So yeah, these are just like little travel tips. And also, I have been up for the past 20 hours about, 24 hours. So I'm a little bit like, you know what I mean? And that's good. I actually love that about traveling. And I'm at a coffee shop in an airport. They have made airports better and better. And I've only been traveling for like four or five years and I already recognize that over the past four years, the technology and just like the ability to spend your day in an airport and feel like you're at a mall has increased. Um, they have like these coffee tables equipped with charging stations. And they got free Wi-Fi, so like you can pretty much spend your whole day. I got a coffee, I'm editing here with my dad. Uh, we have a five hour layover, and then we're gonna go to Munich. And then yeah, we'll see what else happens. Prost. The weather changes. Los Angeles, 70 degrees. Still in my uh, vans and shorts. I'm gonna have to get on some uh, jacket game once I get into Munich. But right now we're in the plane, so don't have to worry about it. You ready? Yeah, let's roll, man, it's awesome. Back in Germany, yo, we're in Munich. We just landed, it's like 10 o'clock. PM, we island hopped LA to London to Munich and now we're here and we're gonna get a hotel. Tomorrow we're probably gonna explore. There's my pops. He has been to Germany before in 2017 when I used to play football. He came to watch me play for the Stuttgart Scorpions but he hasn't done much other than see me play football. We're gonna explore together, eat some food. I'm gonna show him the real Deutsche Way. Schönen Tag noch, los geht's. I'm so happy to be back. I'm seeing all the German words, Abflug. Kein 
Duschgang. We are wandering Munich Airport, and I am remembering how nice and clean and organized everything is, dude. They got the signs, trains, cars, airports, and we're probably gonna go sleep at like the Munich Airport Hotel, Hilton. That's where we're gonna go. What do you think? What do you think of Germany? First look. First look, it's, uh, I'm impressed. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Yee boy. Same. Excited. Yeah, like I said, last time my dad was here was to watch me play football, and now we're both here to watch Germans play football, if you know what I mean. Two years from now, y'all, I'm gonna be on German GQ as the Deutsche Reichsführer. You heard it here first. I'm gonna be on German GQ two years from now as the Deutsche Reichsführer for alles die Land. I'm gonna show you guys the world. Los Gates. Bro, this place is pristine. The Germans keep it clean, bro, and like, Engineering on point. That's what I like about it. Yo, Jules. Thanks for the car. Welcome, sir. Shundis kennen zu lernen. Tschüss. Tschüss. Let's go, baby. All right, so Jules sold my dad and I on getting a BMW. He said, yo, you're in Germany. You got to get a German car. And we said, you're right. Bro, look at these German cars, bro. I hope we get one of these. I don't think we did. But that thing looks nice. Bro, look at these cars too, bro. What? If I would have known they had Porsches, dude. Ooh. You wanna get a Porsche? <laughs> Should we switch it out? If you could pick any car in here, what would you pick? I'd probably pick up Porsche. Or that's a convertible BMW right there. Ooh, that's fresh. All right, we gotta check out the car we actually got though. These are all my, oh bro, these are sick. When I lived in Stuttgart, my coach, shout out Erwin, had one of these cars. It's like a, Hatchback and in Germans honestly in Europe the hatchback is a huge hit and we might actually have one and they got some dang good Horsepower on those things fresh oh. Race car seat. It's Nice in there. Yeah We're gonna be cruising no speed limit this car goes fast. We're gonna test it out. Let's go Let's Asphalt. Asphalt. <laughs> My dad's trying to say Asphalt. Asphalt. <laughs> it's crazy how when you live in a country and learn the words a little bit, like I still consider myself a novice in German, but when I hear someone speak German for the first time, which was me three years ago, I understand why all of you guys laugh because it is funny. Asphalt. <laughs> Asphalt. <laughs> Asphalt. Asphalt. Who's better? I hope I'm better. Asphalt. German car in Germany is a must. Not on the Audubon yet. Nope. Speed limits. There's Speed limits apply here. And you gotta watch out for the blitzers. How many, right. how many tickets did you get last time? I got two in one day. Yeah. My dad got two tickets in one day back in Stuttgart. Actually, we both did. So you gotta watch out. Yeah. If you are not from the European Union, you gotta be aware of the blitzers. If you're going over the speed limit, they'll flash you. So that's something that we are now aware of. Dude, my dad and I were just saying that Germany looks clean as mess. No trash, airports as well. Compared to where we just came from, LA, you know it's a big city, pretty dirty, but Munich is also a big city. I think it's the third largest city in Germany, correct me if I'm wrong, and it's definitely top 10 in Europe. And this place is clean, pristine. There's no trash on the side of the highway. There's nothing. That's how Germans do it, bro. That's why I like this place, honestly. I have grown to love Germany more than uh, I thought I would. I didn't think I was gonna stay here, y'all. If, if you didn't follow my Germany videos from the beginning, um, I came here to play football, and I thought I was gonna stay here for maybe like eight months of the season, but then I end up liking it so much just because of how you guys do things, and also it's a very interesting language, interesting people, interesting history, right in the middle of Europe, kind of like a perfect place for a traveler like myself to go and explore. German is definitely on my list of languages to learn first and foremost before I move on to the, uh, the harder languages like Italian and Spanish. Germans like that joke because they think their language is the hardest. On the road again. German cars are solid. And when I was growing up, BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, Volkswagen, everywhere in the US people drive these things. But I didn't know that they all came from Germany until I lived here. I had a Volkswagen for 20 years. That's right, my dad did. A Volkswagen Beetle? Beetle. Yeah, but you also had a BMW for I, what, two I, years? I had a BMW 630. When he was a young boss. <laughs> and then you decided it was, it was cool. a little bit too flashy, right? It was too flashy. One yeah. Of, one of my clients said, all my money I pay you is going to that car. Yeah. I'm driving a pickup, you're driving a BMW. And that, that hits you like, in the heart. 
I was like 28 or 9, yeah. But if you were a German, you'd fit right in. Because they all, they all drive them all out It here. was a nice car. It was a lot of fun. But then I, I went back to a truck. Yeah. That's more of an American thing to do. If you're in America, especially places like Texas in the south, everyone will drive trucks. Even your grandma and your friend's grandma. We went to the grocery store one time. Literally every single car in the parking lot was like a 250 right. truck. Like a 250, that means like how much it can tow. A 250 or yeah. 2500. Check this out, dude. This is Allianz Arena. This is the stadium where Bayern Munich plays. Big boys Bayern, dude. Best stadium, I think, in Europe. It might be best looking stadium. Definitely one of the best looking stadiums. We are gonna be watching Bayern Munich play Chelsea in London in just a couple days. Oh, so. Let's go. Mom and I just made it. Made it. Day one is complete, y'all. LA to London to Munich. We are here. My dad and I, we got a German car tomorrow. We're going to explore the city of Munich, probably eat some German food. And this is the start to a beautiful weekend of soccer.